I don't know if we want to talk about conspiracy theories or anything, but like it is all of like we have the proof in the pudding of like the 400,000 people on payroll, like all of the paperwork, all of the Oh, you mean you know, uh, the, the the question of the conspiracy if we land on the moon? Yeah, like well, I mean, I I think the, the receipts are there, like the, literally. Oh, we did, but it's like a lot of things like that. I mean, we actually generally live in a in a pretty cynical time where people distrust institutions. Part of the thing was the space program is one of the things that can help reinvigorate the trust in institutions. By institutions, even that word is a bad word now. By institutions means a bunch of humans get together. <laughs> yeah. And do a big thing together. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, you know, like, if I was conspiratorially minded, it's like, how the hell did humans do that? Yeah. So yeah. I, I think that's a very cynical take, unfortunately, but it's still an incredible one. And also, you know, there's, gro there's um, until you look at the receipts, there's a kind of, um, like, a rationale to that kind of conspiracy theory because so much pressure was put on the space race, the, the PR of it yeah. to be the winner. So it makes sense that you might want to try to take shortcuts and fake things and, you know, propaganda, the, you you know, different kinds of messaging. And I'm sure stuff like that was happening. Some kind of like little, you know, adjustment here and there to present things better and so on. But ultimately the actual engineering project yeah. of landing on the moon. I, the, the fact that humans did that, I mean, it is sad that we didn't have better like ways to record it. And as I watch like SpaceX efforts and Blue Origin and these efforts, it's still not trivial to record the, um, how just amazing, awe-inspiring space is. Because yeah. it like, you know, like, yeah. it's like Elon jokes about like space does look fake. <laughs> yeah, like I yeah. think there is some element of it where you have to be there to experience it, really. Mm -hmm. And I don't like. I think it's an un. It's currently is still an unsolved problem of how do you capture the awe of that. I mean, you're one of the early people that are uh, part of the crew that is exploring that very question. I'm sure you won't find all the answers, but you'll start to say like, how do we convert this into mm -hmm. a visual format, into some kind of format that captures the the magic of it? 100%. And that's a perspective thing that I think about all the time. You know, and I, I'll, I'll do a lot of thinking about like, what is the thing that's reacting to people? Is yeah. it the sound? Is it the perspective? Is it like seeing a little tiny human next to a landing leg that makes people go, oh my God, this thing is huge. You know, just reading, you know, and digesting that and trying to help to to con convey that as best as possible because the stuff that we are and have worked on is is so cool. It's so exciting and it's so it's so important and like actually, you know, so much bigger than any one of us physically and <laughs> metaphorically. It's just so it's just I wish everyone had that that experience and and had that light bulb go off. And that's the cool thing that you're like smack in the middle of solving that really difficult and fascinating problem of how how do you capture the magic? How do you inspire? Like That's not just an engineer problem. That's a communication and problem, education I, problem. I find specifically for myself that I get most excited about something when I learn a lot about it. Like when I learn the ins and the outs and I learn all the little problem solving and the, you know, the, the cool, like, oh my God, they had to do what to make it work? Wow, that's amazing. And that's, I try to just always, go back to that root thing of like, what can I teach myself? Like if I'm every video, I, I expect that I learn something making it no matter what, like no matter how uh, much I think I know about something at the end of the day, if I'm not learning something, it's not a good video, you know? And I always think that people get excited when they learn and when they have uh, some questions answered for them.